Well, we got our head all cleaned. I ended up uh, having to sandblast in around the valve area because I couldn't get in there enough with a wire brush. But it's pretty good. So now, I'm going to clean the block. Okay, so now we're ready to put our head back on and make sure we get it lined up properly here with our gaskets. And uh, I've blown them out. I have cleaned the uh, cleaned all the head bolts, and they are supposed to be torqued. To 200 foot pounds. And as well as wire brushing my uh, bolts, I have also put a, a light coat of WD 40 on them. Get a couple of bolts started here. And I'm going to work my way around. I'm going to torque them first to 100 inch pounds. Two hundred inch pounds will be the final torque spec. I think I've got them all. Nope. Now oh, I think I've got them all. I'm going to go back and check them all. And I'm going to put all the tin back on it and I'll bring you back. Okay guys and gals. I don't know if this uh, battery that I'm using, it's an old motorcycle battery, it has enough gasp in it. Give it a shot of gas there. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. Here I am, I'm back again, and uh, I gotta tell you, this has not been a successful day as far as I'm concerned. I can get it to start, but it does not start well. Um, once it is started, it runs pretty well. Uh, it starts better than it was before, but it's still not right. So I, I'm not sure exactly what it is and at this point I don't want to spend any, waste any more time on it because I need to get the uh, V-twin put on over there get that one done and uh, I would like to get on to my other Arians more and get that one done so this really is a a spare motor at this point and for time when I have more time to tinker with it. It, it 
it's better than it was, but it's still not right. It still has to crank way up, and you have to use a lot of choke. And then once it starts, it acts like it's had too much choke. So I'll show you what it is, and this is the way it is. Got a new carburetor on it, new spark plug. You saw me putting the head gasket on. gas I didn't put a lot in it but there you have it better than it was but it still ain't right and uh, I if I was gonna leave this carburetor on I would have to redo the gas line I have a, a it's kind of kinked back in here because it has a straight nozzle on it and the original one had an angle nozzle so we'd have to play with that but that's not the issue I'm sure of that there are a couple of things that I have come to my mind, one of them being I may still have a little bit of a leaky valve. The other thing is these have a compression release to help them start better and I'm wondering if that compression release is not um, backing off once it gets cranking up and so you have to crank way up because it's uh, keeping that valve open too much on startup. So anyway, uh, that's where that is. This one's going to get stuck on the shelf for now and we're going to go back to working on the V-Twin and getting that installed in the Emperor. So thanks for watching, for commenting, and for subscribing. And uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up here. If I can uh, bring myself up into the viewer. Yeah, I expect within the next month, and I'm out of battery, not a memory, I expect within the next month that I'm going to top 4,000 subscribers. And when I do, we're going to have a special giveaway, one that you have never seen done before. And the requirements for that giveaway will be go to two of my videos for the Goofy Cart, and count all the wrenches that I have used. I have already counted them. I know how many there are. I've counted them a couple of times to be sure I got it right. So uh, if you want to give yourself a head start, it will be the two videos that I made on what it takes to build a goofy cart. And uh, maybe I'll put a link to those in the description after this video. That'll give you a heads up, give you a head start. Um, you know, I've count all of the wrenches that are used in building the Goofy Cart to this point. There have been more done since those videos, but we're going to stick with those because those are the ones that you'll have reference to. So again, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, bye for now.